Hello everyone, Returo here with another episode of My Life in Silver League. Today I am playing Random on Yantu East, a level 41 Silver Leaguer by the name of Fletch. And we see he is indeed the Red Zerg in the top right, and I am the Blue Protoss. Should be an interesting matchup here. Protoss versus Zerg, as longtime watchers of this series will know, Protoss is a very distant second of my most comfortable races, first of course being Terran. Zerg, of course, being a far distant third. <laughs> um, so this should be a, a tough matchup. I tend to have trouble with the aggression of Zerg, so it'll be fun to see if I can actually... I'm trying to remember how this match actually played out. Let's Fletch with the early scout here. Um, this will you know, give me some great position. He will know exactly what I am, because he doesn't know that I'm Protoss. He knows I'm random. He just doesn't know that I'm Protoss. This will be an interesting one for sure. And unfortunately, Fletch has hit Supply Block early, I'm guessing because of the trick where you uh, build and <laughs> cancel your geysers. Oh, tricky, tricky Fletch, you so tricky. He does scout, he does indeed see that I am Protoss, and my probe will give short chase before putting up the gateway. Gotta remember to do that. Always gotta remember to put up your gateways, folks. It's it's just a good thing to do. And a little bit of counter scouting here, and <laughs> I accidentally hit stop trying to, uh, so used to hitting S for SCV, just like that. I, uh... He accidentally hit stop on my scout when I was trying to build more probes. Oh, silly Rotoro. Probe is an E, not an S. Oh dear. Anyway, the custom skinned overlord, or the alternate skinned overlord, heading up for Fletcher to do some further scouting as this drone heads all the way home. And he's getting pulled nearly done here for Fletcher. His first gas is also done with three workers on him. Guessing he's going to be going for that speedling boost right away. As soon as this is done, I don't think he'll have enough gas the moment it finishes. But he should have a decent income to get it in short order. And there it is. It is done. The queen is in and six lings as well. Here comes that early pressure from Fletch. Meanwhile, I am chrono boosting out my first zealot. Chrono boosting out probes and my assimilator is done. Both assimilators are done here as well as my cybernetic core. Well, it's not done, but it's starting. Close. As far as things typically go for me as Protoss, this isn't really a bad start though, I am supply blocked, which is about normal for me as Protoss. Uh, no second hatchery yet for uh, Fletch, very slow to get those extra units out here, definitely wanting that early aggression, well he has got it. Uh, meanwhile my probe with his incredible zigzagging scouting pattern, he's not finding any proxy hatcheries whatsoever, so off he goes on his fun adventure. Uh, the second, second uh, portal, it's called the portal, the pylon, there we go. Second pylon done, temporarily alleviating that supply block. As now we have two probes working each assimilator, getting that much heat gas in there. Krona boosting out the warp gate, Krona boosting out a second zealot as well. And meanwhile, oh, this poor probe, you walk into the wrong side of town, buddy. Oh dear, this is not good. And sure enough, the lings will take care of that probe. No problem whatsoever. This is a scary bit of pressure because I'm glad I have the two zealots there to deal with this as more lings join in the party late. They will quick check on the Zelnaga Watchtower, and they will head right up the main gate. Do I have a Forge coming in? Yes, I do. Forge is about halfway done. Won't be able to get a cannon in before the rush comes in, but oh, thank goodness. Oh, a brief respite as the Lings stop, which means the Zealots will get a chance to try and carving into some of them, and they run past. They will get us around, but here comes his buddy to try and bail him out. It won't be enough. The Zealots will go down. They will take a couple Lings with them. Uh, questions. Oh, but thank you. Those Zealots bought just enough time for the cannons to start. Here come the links into the mineral line. The probes leave. They are getting out of dodge, trying to buy time before the cannons finish. And here comes the mothership core, just in the nick of time to stop this aggression. Will they get this pylon done? I don't think they do. Here come the probes, try and save the pylon. And this actually works out well. The probes surround with the mothership core in support has managed to fend off the zergling harass. Good job there by the Mothership Corps. Actually, good job all around. Zealots coming to the aid at the last second there. Probes get back to work. The Mothership Corps does hang out here. These circles like, yeah, we're out of here. That's enough of that. Meanwhile, back home, two more lings on the way and a drone, but the army has already been rebuilt. Here comes another whole wave of them, and the speed upgrade is done. They are speedlings, folks. Roach Warren also on the way here. Still no second hatch, which I imagine Fletch will be wanting to take, uh, take care of sooner than later. Later, here comes the second wave of aggression. The cannon, however, is done. The lings go the long way around. The probes get out of there. And the lings go straight for the Nexus. Why not? The problem is, is uh, 
there's another ship core and a cannon want words with them and the probes are diving right back in to fend off the lanes of stalker is going to tell that as well and that is going to be another failed attempt to try and take down the workers by the lanes they have any workers kills so far uh the arm spy is actually dropping for fletch here look at the uh workers killed here units killed Sorry, there we go, units killed. Only three workers killed for Fletch. All 28 Lings, however, taken care of. That is not good for the cost of all those Lings. Only three workers killed. Fletch cannot be happy with that. Still a decent amount of production for space, too, so it's not like I'm hurting for units. Second cannon now is there to fend off more aggression. The warp gate is done, which means we should be warping in units sooner than later once we have the money to do so. Uh, Fletch, however, is not giving up. He figured, you know what? Lings haven't been working. Let's try mm, more Lings. Why not? Uh, however, his hatchery is finally being built at his natural here, along with some drones to help out with this flagging economy. No drones in gas. Only now it is 13th worker on minerals. This is some very, very light mining here by Fletch. Now just getting a few more drones in there. Here it comes. Oh, unfortunately, down goes the pylon as Fletch sends in his ball of Marines. Unfortunately, there are cannons, and the cannons are doing their job. The rings get a few more work kills here. There's the Pokemon Overcharge. The Scotchers are there as well. This is not going to end well for Fletch. Keep an idea, but have There were three worker kills. Uh, we are still at three worker kills. All of that. All those lings. No kills from Fletch. That's got to be frustrating, but... Well, he's content to throw away the lanes. I'm content to sit back and defend against this. Still only the two gateways, but I do have a Stargate up and running, which means if he's going pure Ling, uh, a Void Ray and an Oracle uh, would not be amiss to try and solve some of these problems. Uh, another cannon on the way as well to stop the lanes from running around the top side, so at least the defenses are well in hand here. Another pilot on the way. Evil Chamber just finished next to Fletch. He tries to get a little bit of an upgrade advantage, which is not a bad idea. We check in on my forge. Uh, no upgrades have been taken, so an upgrade advantage would be nice to take, or nice to have for Fletch to try and. If he's gonna go pure ling, just make those pure lings even better. Why not? Unfortunately for him, an oracle is on the way. Two roaches are on the way now, so no anti air except for the extra queen at his natural. So the only anti air are the queens. More ling, more roach on the way, and a cannon at the front door as an early warning system. Simulator going down at the net, trying to mark the territory there. Hopefully save up a little bit for perhaps a a necklaces. I definitely need to expand here very late in my expansion, owing to the pressure from Fletch. So in that sense, he's done well to stop me from expanding, but he is only on his second base now. He's only got uh, units coming off of it, no miners. Or no, uh, yeah, no units to mine with, no workers. There we go, that's the word, workers! No workers, that's the word. Anyway, there goes the Oracle flying off. There's going to be some excellent quick scouting from the Oracle with that fantastic move speed. Off it goes, takes the long way around, will not be detected except by that Overlord. But I don't think there's going to be any movement here by Fletch. I don't think he's noticed it either as he's just focusing on balling up his lings and now Roach is mixed in so he's got some variety there. Unfortunately, uh, th <laughs> there, there's the move there by the Stalkers and the Sentry to try and scare off the Overlord and it will work out quite nicely. And meanwhile, on Fletcher's mineral line, the Oracle is going to town. And realizing what's going on here, there is the attempt to get a Spore Crawler. It will build faster than the Oracle can take it down, so the Oracle will have to leave if it wants to fight another day, and it goes straight for the work kills. And it will just break them in. What are we looking at here? Oh, nine worker kills. Nine worker kills to three with one unit. I think that would be efficient blocking of economy. Only four workers now. And a definite money cruncher. And Fletch said that, well, he's not going to stand for that. He rushes into the cannon. Unfortunately, there's the time warp in front of the mothership for the sentry. is on the low ground for some reason. There is a good block to try and make life a little bit more tough for those roaches. Unfortunately, there's a deep power of the cannon. They'll be of no assistance to the stalkers and zealots, though. With assistance from the mothership core, they will be able to hold off the lings. The roaches are going to be in a world of hurt here. They are inside the time warp. That's not going to help. And this sentry is still alive. No kills to his name. Seven killed on the Zealot. Will he stay alive? Will he stay alive? With one hit point, the Mentor Zealot stays alive. Oh, no production for me, though. That's one thing I gotta get better at is Protoss is when I'm microwing. Make sure I am building stuff. There's a quick warp in there. As you can see, that's just resetting. Two more probes coming in as the Nexus is complete. Four drones on the way. Plus, he needs to rebuild his economy. Ground carapace is almost done. 
as he also tries to get some creep spread going because that'll help him get his units to me faster before I can rebuild. But the problem is Fletch has next to no economy. That is not good. Let's look at the supply through 21 to 6 army supply. 32 to 21 is worker supply. This heavily favors me. Another oracle is on the way as well to continue that worker harass. But meanwhile, the attack is on pushing the advantage. Is this army good? Uh, inject larvae very timely there by Fletch as he now has something to try and rebuild his army with. But the money just isn't there. He spent it all on what looks to be mass ling. That's not going to save the day against this army. Might be able to take down a few units. Might be able to take down the Mentor Zealot. But with the Overlords being taken down, that will get him close, but not quite. Supply Block have to reinvest that money in taking care of the Overlords. The army side may only get up before the Lings hack. And they go for the rocks, opening up a second line of attack. The Lings just blow right past it. They are going straight for the base. Lings, you gotta defend, Lings! And meanwhile, this hero, hero probe is actually going to try and drop a pylon down. Oh, and here come the Lings straight through. They are going for the workers, and it will be a good idea, but there's a cannon in the back to try and deal with them. And they will, however, have no problem taking care of this cannon. But two oracles have shown up to defend the home front, and good job by the oracles. They will not be able to save all the crows. They will get most of those Lings just as the cannons are done, so thank you, counterattacking. Meanwhile, this hero probe has dropped down two pylons to help with the warp gates. Speaking of, how many do we have here? Still just the two warp gates. Oh, I think here's another lesson for us to learn there. Two warp gates is not enough for sustained pressure, and I think there we go. Having just realized it, mass build orders on the way for three more gateways and two more pylons. Meanwhile, the army is now able to move out once again. Oops, with the reinforcement area here on the pylons. Will they go back to busting down those rocks? It's probably going to be a good idea. Five roaches on the way. For Fletch, some heavier hitters in there, then Ling's a good idea. But unfortunately, those oracles are just going to ignore all of that because they don't care. They really don't. And uh, if there are any, and there are the Ling's, those Ling's just going to get roasted by the oracles. They opt to go around the blockade. And the rocks are down. Two avenues of attack out to the Ling's to try and take down the sentries. They will get one. Will they get two? They will get two. Can I hear three? Yes, I can hear three. And unfortunately for this army, the Lings have done the early work. The Stalkers are now in top against the Roaches, and they will take care of this army. But meanwhile, back at the base here, the Spores, will they take down the Oracles? They will. So not as good an effective, not an effective uh, way of dealing with those drones as before. Decent defense here by Fletch, but he has 25, 24 uh, working this mineral line. That is inefficient. Only one worker on gas, no workers, not even an extractor over here. And the militia corps is just having a field day taking care of these units that they uh, they have no way to attack air. No drones working whatsoever on the low ground. Fletch is supply blocked. Another Stargate is on the way. A Void Razor on the way. Another Queen is on the way. And level 1 weapons are being researched at the Protoss Forge. More pylons are on the way as well. Finally, we have five warp gates to feed or to fend off this Ling Roach combo. Good looking worker count here on the next, though the uh, there is definitely saturation situation up here and no workers on this gas. That needs to change. Tons of minerals in the bank, but not enough Vespin. You gotta have Vespin as a Protoss, and I should know that. Though, uh, in my defense, not my best race. <laughs> and it's Silver League, so I'm pretty sure I can get away with it now. I think Fletch here is going to be inspired by the rock breakdown, and he's gonna try this himself. But with two cannons on the high ground spotting it, it's not gonna go too well. He will attempt it. But I can't imagine this is going to end well for Fletch. He is trying to bust it down with the Void Ray and the Mothership Core and the Zealots have other ideas. Oh, this isn't going to end well for that poor Roach, but the Void Ray decides, nah, I'm just going to link up with my buddies here. Meanwhile, a third Nexus is going down. Good expanding here. We definitely need to be mining that gas sooner than later. As the Stalker, Zealot, and Void Ray, Mothership Core combo chases, and this Stalker has made the critical mistake of overextending. He will go down, but the rest of the army is there. They will mop up those roaches. As the creep spread actually for Fletch, not too, too bad. He has built a small creep, uh, at least a staging point for himself. Problem, problem is, he doesn't really have the units to deal with it. All the overlords are retreating to try and protect that supply situation as the spine crawlers and spore crawlers are taking up positions around the natural the Lings on patrol here, looking for that army, taking advantage of that creep. 
and look at all these spore crawlers. I think Fletch is sick of my of my uh, Oracle. Maybe just maybe 31 drones at his main Fletch, buddy. You gotta move those drones. That's 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 oversaturation. Your drone situation's out of control here. A uh, hydrolysis, hydrolysis den is on the way for Fletch, which is gonna be a very good choice to take care of the air and just as a heavy hitter is not a bad idea. But back at the base, the level one shield upgrade is on the way. Another Void Ray is on the way. Third Stargate is done. These probes are sitting around doing absolutely nothing. Now they are being transferred over. As decent saturation at the natural. As the main is mined out and will soon be gassed out, I would imagine. And, oh, Fleet Beacon is on the way. Because if you're going to go big, folks, get a Fleet Beacon. Why not? Uh, two Robos on the way as well here. He's really trying to diversify the army. And why not? Got the advantage. Keep pressing it. The army... Meanwhile, by Fletch's base is taking its sweet time here as the crawlers reposition somewhat. Unfortunately, that is giving Fletch time to put up a decent defense, which is not good for me. And now the army is going to move out and probably will not like what it sees. Well, the stalkers are going to uh, go up the spine crawler, but not for taking out the spore. This is an excellent surround here. And the army is like, yeah, enough of this nonsense. We are getting out. And uh, there's the mass recall. Good move there by the Mothership Corps to mass recall out. Save those units. That will save me the horror of having to rebuild this army entirely from scratch, but with a decent number of cannons here. The counterattack is not going to be easy. The Void Rays, however, are sticking around. Two new Void Rays. There is the Prismatic Alignment to try and take down the Queen, but they are just burning all of their transfuse, which I suppose in the long run is good because they can't use it to inject larvae, but they are not going to, like having to waste all of that, but they will get some good creep spread going here. But meanwhile, oh no, there's the proxy byline. Has it been spotted? I do believe it ha No, it has not been spotted yet. So the queens are gonna go and burn the rest of their energy on building this creep highway. But uh, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> the pro will just walk right by. Oh, move command, you've done it again. The Queens will not give chase as another pylon goes down here to try and spot how far that creep spread is going. And the cannons have shown up. They will take care of that attempted expansion of the creep. And they actually push the creep back. So that is a definite uh, solid beach hit here. And I do believe now Fletch has seen it. Now he knows what the deal is. He knows there's something going on. And meanwhile, here they are. The Tempest is on the way, as are immortals from the robotics bay uh, an infestation bit also on the way here for fletch as he tries to move up the tech ladder he's got his layer tech done none of the tech actually being used here as the drones have completely mined out his main and there is the push by the army here a hydralisk laying with queens mixed right in down goes the beachhead very little losses here for fletch but this is an army that can be beaten but unfortunately it for me, it is an army that will absolutely rip through what I have here. So they will just turn around and wait for help here. In come some zealots to help out with the ground forces as the warp takes place at this secondary staging point, which ends up being a good idea. More, uh, more diversity, perhaps? Maybe more Void Ray? But the Immortals will definitely be a huge help against the Tiberlist. And I believe there's... An, is there an Observer mixed in here? There must be if they're able to take down the Creep Tumors. Protection? <laughs> Killing that Mothership Core. Good job, Mothership Core. Right, units here. Uh, yes, there is an Observer mixed into that army. Oh boy, but here comes the... Oh dear. There's the Time Warp, and will this army have what it takes to actually take down the advancing units here? Clutch? I don't think so. The Immortals will try and take the brunt of it with their shield. Down goes the Observer. The... Stalkers trying to hold their ground, but Mushroom Core is gone. This army has and will be defeated. Two Time Warps trying to hold everything at bay, but it has ripped through a decent amount of Fletch's army. The Overseers there are catching the uh, the Observer, but the Hydralisks are looking pretty mean here. But more Immortals are on the way, more Void Rays are on the way. The Tempest has arrived, as have some decent reinforcements here, but it's probably not going to be enough to take down a Hydralisk heavy army. Here comes some Overseers to reinforce a lot of detection on the field. 
don't know what they're trying to detect. Maybe Dark Templars or just maybe for the speed boost. Uh, there is a third base there for Fletch. Uh, no one working it. Uh, he's getting pumped all his workers into one base. Fletch, buddy, you, you gotta diversify the worker count. It's just not working. More sentries here to try and get the Guardian Shield up, I imagine, to stop those Hydralisks and their scary assaults. Maybe get some forces out there. I imagine it's more for the Guardian Shield. But, oh, here come the Changelings. They are gonna scout this out, see what is what. Boop! There they go. As Zealots, oh, and the Void are like, yeah, we know what the deal is with you, buddy. Forget it. Do the detectors, the detectors notice, they probably don't care, but there's an engagement going on here, and yes, the, oh my goodness, what an excellent take in there, a, not all, I think, what Fletch wanted to have happen is the Hydrogen is absolutely destroyed, and they probably won't be able to do much about the Creep Highway here without an Observer, two are, are on the way, as is replacement Mothership Corps, another Void Ray, and another expansion here. And the Changeling will spot this, but I think more importantly, the Hydralist realize, oh, the Guardian Shield is not going to be what they wanted to see as the Immortal Void Ray Sentry combo has, oh, poor, poor Rally Point has no problem taking that down. Good transfuse by the men, by the Queens to save some of that hatchery, but it's not going to be nearly enough as the combined forces will take care of that nonsense. And to think that to start this all off, Fletch was absolutely trying to win this thing with pure Ling Harass. It has since turned around. We have reached the late game, and the Protoss heavy hitters are on the field. Down go the Spore Crawlers. Unable to make a dent in the Void Race. Here come the Zealots to assist, along with the Sentries. And this should be it. There's the GG from Fletch. The armies of Fletch tells you everything you need to know, and he does leave the game. A win for me is Protoss, um, yeah, uh, I think what I learned from this is, again, well, I was, did a great job holding off the Ling Harass, I was slow to capitalize, it took me forever to decide what I was going to do, uh, only two gateways was a very, very lucky that I was not punished for that, getting to five, probably even got to six gateways would have helped, Robos came in late, but they were there, which was good, definitely could stand to get those units on the field faster, and for that, you need at least more gateways. That's what I've learned from my life in Silver League. Hope you enjoyed watching it. My name is Rotoro. We'll see you next time.